This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. Here are some performance and hardware tips to consider when the time comes to upgrade your Apple computer. Bill asks, I currently own a 2018 Mac Mini with an i7 and 64 gigabytes of RAM. It works fine. When I upgrade in the future, I don't want to go overboard, but I do want gear that works for my editing, which is up to 8K. So will the Mac Mini M2 be enough, or do I need the M2 Pro? Is 8 gigabytes of RAM enough, and will it be faster than my 2018 Mac Mini? Well, let's tackle the last question first. If we look at performance, the write speed of a 2018 Mac Mini with an i7 is about 1.8 gigabytes a second, 2.3 gigabytes for read. On a 2023 Mac Mini with an M2 Pro chip, the hard disk writes three and a half times faster and reads 2.2 times faster. So there is a material difference just in storage speed alone. Now, the faster the storage, the more easily it works with multi-cam editing, and the easier it works with higher frame rates and larger frame sizes. But there's even more to the speed issue than just simply the internal storage. If we compare a 2018 Mac Mini with a 2023 Mac Mini, Final Cut renders 12 times faster. It exports over five times faster. It creates proxies 15 times faster. If you're working with Premiere, it renders and exports in Premiere five times faster. And if you're editing multicam in Premiere, a 2018 Mac Mini handles less than five 4K streams. The 2023 Mac Mini, 25 streams and more. Now, this is dependent upon the speed of your storage for multicam support, but there is no question, hands down, that Apple Silicon is far faster than any Intel system. When it comes to asking how much RAM you need, 8 gigabytes is fine for general office work. 16 gigabytes is better for single camera video editing, even up to 12K frames. The processor is more than sufficient. The RAM is more than sufficient at 16 gig. 32 gigs is preferred for multi-cam editing and if you're spending all of your time with 12K media. And 64 gigabytes is best if you want to future-proof your system or you're doing extreme multi-cam editing, say with 20 streams of 4K or more, 64 gigabytes is going to be a hand. Between the four chips, the M2, the M2 Pro, the M2 Max, and the M2 Ultra, the M2 is low cost, great for general office work or ed eccentric workflows at any frame size. The M2 easily edits 4K, 8K, even 12K media. The problem is not the CPU, the problem is the speed of your storage. The M2 Pro is preferred if you want faster rendering, you're doing extended multicam editing, color grading, media transcoding, and exporting. What you get with the M2 Pro is more speed, but you don't get higher quality. The quality of all these chips is the same. All you're doing is getting the results faster. The M2 Max is currently my favorite chip. It's the sweet spot of performance and price. The M2 Max provides even more speed, extensive dozens and dozens of multicam streams, more ports, better heat management because of the way it's built into both the laptop and the Mac Studio. The M2 Ultra is really not for editing. It's designed for 3D with extensive rendering, visual effects, and emphasis on non-editorial compute-intense workflows. You don't need the M2 Ultra for editing. It's overkill and way too expensive. But if you're doing things other than editing, which are compute-centric, think 3D modeling or 3D rendering, there the Ultra would make a difference. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 358. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media, 
and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.